guys oh my gosh so i have not done this kind of video in a while just a nice little chit chat um it's been about a year since i've done one actually and so now it's a year later and i just kind of want to do an update there's just been a lot of things that i've experienced in the past year a lot of things that i've learned about myself and about life i just kind of want to share um there may not really be a real structure to this video i'm just going to be sharing I am about to do my makeup because I'm going to a really quick event. Recently got some new makeup from Ulta. Um, just some concealer and stuff. So I'm about to just get that all straight. But you guys, I the last time I, I filmed, it was a year ago, like I said. And I was talking about how I was in grad school. I'd probably been in grad school for about a week. And now I'm in my second year. It's about the third month of my second year. Um, and I'll be graduating next semester. So my program is only two years long. My program is only two years long. And I mean, it moves very quickly. So this past summer, though, I did an internship. It was required for my program. And that I don't think I realized kind of how, what I was about to be doing. <laughs> Everything just moved so quickly. It was an amazing experience, but I don't think I realized kind of what I was doing through the application process and everything. Since I was so focused on just getting an internship, getting an internship. And once I got one, I just was like, perfect, like time to go. And didn't even really take the time to process and think about what I was about to do. <laughs> Um, honestly, if you had told me a year ago that I was going to be doing what I just did this summer and what I have done these past couple months, I would have laughed at you. That is how crazy in a good way it's, it's, it's all been. And I, that's kind of what I would kind of want to just remind you guys about is definitely don't be afraid to take those leaps of faith, you know, take those chances. I moved to California for this summer um, and was 3,000 miles away from home, but I got to work with a really great organization and it was definitely worth it. It was just a great experience overall being that far away on your own as a young woman. I grew so much. I mean, I had to just gain confidence. I didn't have anybody there to hold my hand, anybody there to kind of talk things out with personally just or just run things by I was by myself I had to trust me trust my gut and I I just became so much more confident after that experience I um was talking to my friend the other day and I that that summer it just completely transformed me it really did the way I think the way I move I was able to grow figure out what I need to work on personally and professionally <laughs> I just, it was just such a great experience. It went by fast though. So I have just been reflecting. Honestly, I've been reflecting a lot about that experience, missing it. Um, I took picture, a lot of, not a lot, but I did take pictures, a, a good amount of pictures while I was there. I didn't really post too many of them because I just really wanted those memories for myself. But looking back, I also have a few videos, but is really nothing compares to just actually being there physically in such a beautiful area and just on my own like that. It was just, it was amazing. As you can see, I got some new concealer that I'm trying out. I think it's working okay. It's maybe a little light, but okay. <laughs> let, me, oh, let me turn this light down. Uh, Turn that down just a little bit. So now I am back. It's my second year. And I can't believe how fast time has just gone by. I got new powder too. Where is it at? We gonna try this powder out. I can't believe how fast time is going by. I do have a vlog channel. It's linked below if you want to see some of my highlights from this summer. But on my vlog channel, I also have the first video that I ever made in this apartment when I moved in. And I remember that very vividly. Doesn't seem like it was that long ago, but it was and now I'm about to graduate which is just I can't believe it I it's crazy um I know I talked a little bit 
about imposter syndrome in one of my videos last year from when I first got to grad school. And that is something that I think is just a part of everyone's journey at some point, you know, whatever and whatever it might be, you're going to experience imposter syndrome. It's going to come and go. That's how it is for me. I just got done going through the application process for fellowships and jobs and that kind of thing. And yeah, my imposter syndrome would be there sometimes and then it wouldn't. It's just a part of the process. Um, but with that internship, I kind of had I kind of told people that my whole life changed after that internship, and I really kind of wasn't being dramatic, or I, I also was not exaggerating. Like everything changed. I just it, everything kind of clicked for me, and I can definitely say I'm glad I chose healthcare administration. Is there a mirror in here? I'm glad I chose healthcare administration. You know, I think it definitely is for me. There's so much to learn. Um, I've one thing I learned though was that a lot of your learning happens outside the classroom. So it's important to stay up to date on those current events and just do your own reading, your own researching. Um, if anybody is watching this and is in the MHA in an MHA program and is considering applying to fellowships and doesn't really know, I would say you know. Even I would say that throughout the process, you know, there's no guarantee. You don't know if you're going to get one or not, but um, you learn so much just by applying to one, one hospital. I mean, I applied to, I think about seven, but, and that was even overwhelming for me, honestly, but I learned so much just through those informational interviews asking different people what projects they're working on, learning about nonprofits and how those really operate, just doing that research. It just forces you to think outside of the classroom and apply real world experience. And I I really, really love that. Um, Also with writing too, um, I got to write... um, you know, a, a personal statement that I had some people edit and look at. And I realized, you know, writing is one of those things that I think we need to, we need to like do more of or something. Hold on. But if you go through application process and all that, please put yourself first, put your mental health first. Um, e- even with that, I still was very, very tired. A lot of the times, a lot of the times when, when the weekends came around, I would be just stressed guys and I've learned a lot for me when I'm stressed I get headaches they're just these stressed headaches I would get those a lot if I'm extremely stressed and tired maybe my back as well so just really I just have been really like staying in tune with my body trying not to overdo it um okay I need to do some eyeliner but so I learned a lot about, I learned a lot, I've been learning a lot about myself because that's what it is. I mean, I'm 23. Yeah, I'm in grad school, but still I'm about to graduate and it's time to be a real adult. So that's another thing too. I don't know why I opened this one. I still have, okay, I've been wearing blue eyeliner now. I've been really continuing on my healing journey. Really these past few weeks, been able to really focus on it since I'm kind of have freed up my time now that I'm kind of done with applications and all that. So really just trying to continue doing my healing. I have a lot of books back here that I just haven't had a chance to really dive into and read like I want. Um, I'm trying to learn more. I'm trying to just, I'm trying to educate myself, honestly, on a lot of things that we don't learn in the classroom. Just a lot of things, just emotionally, you know, when it comes to relationships, because like I said, I'm a, I'm growing up now, you know, it's time to start taking accountability. It's time to start understanding who I am understanding my emotions, how I express myself, becoming self-aware, you know, but still knowing my value. And just that's what's important to me, honestly. How does this look? How do I look? Mm -mm -mm. Um, what else? I really, okay, I also, now that I have more time, I'm trying to get more into a nice little schedule. So I am off of social media kind of right now. I kind of just go on there to post and then leave, go on there, do what I need to do, then leave. 
Um, but I kind of felt like, especially recently, since I've been kind of stressed and lonely, I hate to say it, but just a little, little, not lonely, but I don't know, just like I said, reflecting a lot on my summer and just kind of in my head, whenever I get like that, I get on social media so much. I just like, or like not even like Instagram in particular, but, um, just be scrolling on YouTube, just looking at random things and kind of falling asleep to that. And I really don't like that. I really want to make sure that I read before I go to sleep or write before I go to sleep, you know, just really do something more creative. And that's really what I want to get more into more of a better night routine, making sure I'm really taking care of myself, you know, my skin too. You guys know I've struggled with acne, but it's, it's, I think we're finally turned a corner with that. It's working on eating healthier, exercising, because I'm telling you, when you're going through applications or if you're just, you know, applications along with being in classes, you can get stressed and you can forget your body just gets so burned out. And that's kind of how I've been feeling burned out. One of my classes I'm taking is actually healthcare finance. And that's another thing that I would say, I, if you had told me I would be taking this class and doing the stuff that we're doing, return on investment, debits and credits and all that, I would have laughed because that's not my thing but that class you know like that class has not been really that hard but it's been challenging I've had to challenge myself teach myself a few things learn how to use excel and at this point though I can say I mean it's mid midterms were just last week and that was hard because I, I I I knew I was burnt out it just gets to a point where like I said I love healthcare administration I, I love my grad school program and I love everything I'm learning I think it's valuable but it gets so draining when you're constantly having to deliver and constantly having to say okay I gotta do this assignment I gotta do this assignment it just makes me almost not want to do it oh y'all my teeth Lord, it's the coffee because like I said you know just being tired but I can feel myself getting burned out and I know it's just time for a break time to rest coming back on YouTube is honestly just YouTube, I love YouTube, okay? If you don't know, you know now. I'm saying it. I love YouTube. I love doing this. Oh, it's something in my contact. I have been really trying to... What? This mascara? Strength, you know, like work on my relationship with God. And at the beginning of the semester, I started a 30-day Bible reading challenge that I had to... I hate it sounds so bad, but I just didn't have time to finish the 30-day Bible reading challenge. But, you know, I really want to read the Bible more and understand it more because I think it's just a great way to, I think I really, I mean, I do base a lot of my life principles off of the Bible, you know, my morals and values, all those things. So I just really want to understand the Bible more. Um, I listen to a podcast from time to time called Amen Podcast. And it really, it really is just a deep breath for my spirit. I really love that. Um, and that's just been something that just keeps me so calm, just being connected to the spirit. It keeps me very present and it just reminds me that I'm exactly where I need to be. And this kind of just is reminding me of, you know, the application process. I know this video is all over the place. The application process. My teeth are literally yellow. And this constant feeling of, oh my gosh, I'm going to get rejected. I remember I was talking to one of my friends and she was just like, she just doesn't do well with rejection. And I've tried to explain to, to, to y'all just to teach y'all, you know, rejection is protection and rejection is redirection. And I'm saying this too. I really feel like I want to tell people to take the word rejection out of your vocabulary for you. Don't ever think that anybody or anything could reject you. Because if you're some people reject, reject something that's bad for them. Okay. You know, it's like you're rejecting it because it's bad. It's bringing you harm. But if you know that you've always put your best foot forward, you have value and you're trying your best, you're not even really being rejected. It's just that it's another opportunity that's better for you that you need to shift your attention to. And I, that whole rejection thing applies to everything in life. Like people, especially for me, let me do my lip liner. Especially for me, I've talked about how I'm an empath. You know, I'm very compassionate uh, and empathetic and just really want the best for everyone around me. I just love connecting with people that I feel really close to. 
Um, and that can be that, that. I mean, that is a blessing and a curse. But, you know, I think. And I've kind of mentioned before, it's like if you know that you're you're doing the work on yourself, you know, you're adding value to yourself, you pour into yourself. You know, if someone, you know, rejects you or they go ahead and take themselves out of your life because they know that they're not where you are. It's like, let them go and don't even look at that as a bad thing. Look at that as you being protected. Um, yeah, look at that as you being protected. And I just, that's just kind of what I had to learn these past couple months. It's like, look, I know I'm not a perfect person. And I don't expect anyone else to be perfect, but I know that I am working on myself and I'm trying to become better and I'm trying to get to know myself and I'm young and I'm in my early twenties. And so I'm not a perfect human, but you know, I do know when it's like somebody's in my life and they're not treating me properly or not properly valuing me or respecting me or making me feel a certain way. And, and I think another thing is discernment and intuition is extremely important. That's a lesson that I learned is like God gives us discernment. And a lot of times, you know, we, we, we try to override it. We try to go, you know, not listen to our first feeling, not listen to what our spirit is telling us. And it's just so important. And the way that I think about, okay, like, is this person or is this thing good for me? Is it from God? Is how do I feel when I think about it or when it's in front of me? Do I feel a sense of peace or do I feel confusion? And that's just how that I've just applied that to everything. And I know sometimes, yeah, you can have confusion. You can have anxiety about something. And I mean, yeah, it may still be from God, but go to God. I feel like I had that that problem of going to the wrong person. <laughs> no, like go to God about it and let him give you the answers and be patient and wait on that discernment and that wisdom. Um, Just to give you an example, I mean, I... I don't know. I just, I just know when I have been being, I'm trying to trust myself more and I just know when something's not for me. Um, for instance, you know, I am going to be getting, you know, a, a job opportunity. I'm securing my big girl job soon. And the thing is, okay, where are you going to move to? You know, do you want to get an apartment? Do you want to have roommates? Do you want to live at home? Like, what do you want to do? And I've just been always thinking, okay, okay. Calm. First of all, calm down. I always got to remind myself it's already worked out. That's what I told myself with the fellowships. I said, you already have a fellowship. God has already worked it out. It already has your name on it. So just relax. <laughs> it's coming. Um, Like calm down. Just literally like slow down, calm down, like and think and just be peaceful, be still. And when you think about these different options that you have, which one do you feel the most peace about? Which one do you feel the most confused about? And that's kind of just how I kind of make those kind of decisions. Okay, this lipstick. I think that's pretty much my look. I mean, that's pretty much my look. Usually I have on a gold chain. Okay, hold on. Because I look really light on here. I'm not that light. Usually I have on a gold chain, but I don't know the word it's cold outside, but a turtleneck on. But I hope this video was helpful. And the last, I think my camera's gonna die before I finish talking. But yeah, no, I think it's okay. The last thing I want to talk about is the last thing I want to mention is that you know, on my journey. I really am working on not being so sensitive. I may have talked about this in another video, but I'm really am working on not taking everything personally and not being so sensitive. And just really, uh -uh, I need some lip gloss. And just really remembering that everyone is on their own journey. No, nobody is even thinking about you, babe. Everyone's on their own journey. Most of what people do, it ain't got nothing to do with you. It's just them. So I, you know, no matter how old these people have their own lives, their own thoughts, their own insecurities, their own doubts, their own bills, their, you know, their own kids, their own families that they're thinking about. They're not even really thinking about you. So if somebody walked by you and they don't speak or if they don't speak the way you thought or like it's like it ain't even got nothing to do with you. I have learned to just keep a positive attitude at all times. Keep a smile on my face. I don't even want people to think they can really get to me because, uh. Uh, I've learned, yes, I'm a little, you know, more in tune with my emotions can be, I love to be vulnerable and let people in, but I think it's just all about waiting to do that for people that have proven to you that they will not take advantage of that, you know, that they won't use you for that because most people aren't like that. People aren't used to people like that. And so when it, when you do it, it just throws them off and it's too much for them. 
But I've learned, look, just keep a smile on your face, keep a positive attitude, and people will gravitate. People will support you. And people will honestly not help but to love you. Because I know I try to carry myself with love, put love first, put, you know, put put God first and just always exude love and confidence. So I think that was a very great way to wrap up this video. I know we're talking kind of fast, but I'm about to head to this event. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys like this little cute everyday look. And if you want to, you know, stay up to date with me, um, I'll be on Instagram at, I never shot on Instagram. This is weird, but I'm not on, I'm, I don't really do these type of life updates, but anyway, Instagram, simply Nicole 31. Stay tuned and I'll see y'all.